Hey there, astronomers. Mr. Nolan here. I wanted to play with our HR diagram to add some labels. I wanted to show you how to do that. So I've added a few more data points here to make it a little bit more um, clear what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and select the H column in I like we did in class, and I'm going to insert a chart, and we're going to confirm that it's a scatter chart, which it is. And I'm actually going to immediately make a couple of changes. So first of all, what do I mean by labels? So down here under series, where you got the three little buttons, kind of looks like a traffic light, I'm going to add labels. And it's going to guess that I want to use the data from the actual column, but I'm going to tell it, nope, I'm going to select my own data range and I'm going to select the star names. And then we got the star names in there. Now, the problem with this, so I'm going to copy this and paste it into a new sheet so we can mess with it. The problem is they're really hard to read. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So I've increased the size. And if I click on, um, actually let's zoom in a touch and look at this clump. They're really hard to read. So I'm gonna double click to select my data points and I'm gonna pick on one of them. So there's Sirius A, I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna click on Alcor. There, move that one out of the way. Let's move Mizar B there and cast her B there and cast her A there. Notice it's below it. Let's move that a little bit more. Hang on. Sometimes you have to play with a little to let it tell you so you can select what you've actually wanted. And um, let's zoom back out. And now you can actually not only do the stars that we put on the HR diagram have labels. Here, I moved that where it didn't need to be. But um, those labels are the stars' names and they're actually in the right place. So I uh, hope this was useful.